All right, guys, hello and good morning in wonderful Singapore here at the Intel Extreme Masters. I am Jorisar here on behalf of ESL TV, and I'm joined by one half of the Spanish Armada Vortex. First of all, mate, uh, for those of you, maybe uh, for some of the viewers who don't know uh, so much about the StarCraft scene, or maybe you're watching a tournament for the first time, why don't you introduce yourself and uh, le let us know how the tournament's been for you and your first impressions of Singapore. Yeah, well, I'm uh, Vortex, a Spanish player. I play Zerk, and about uh, about Singapore, it's I haven't seen much of it, but it looks pretty okay by the moment. At least I like it much better than China, which I was last week. And yeah, that's it. Fair enough. And we, of course, finished the open bracket yesterday, where we had the remaining spots in the group stages today filled out. You're in Group A, which looks really quite difficult, to be perfectly honest. Two Protoss and four Zergs in your group. What are your first impressions? Mm, well, it's a bit tricky because uh, I think I can beat anyone, but I could lose also. So I don't know, maybe I finish first or maybe I finish last. It's, uh, <laughs> it's pretty tricky, but I feel really confident about my PBZ lately, CVP. And CBC, well, you never know, it's a bit random sometimes, but uh, I think I will do good if I play uh, normal and I don't get nervous or something. Well, be best of luck to you there. Um, I, I, th I think you should have the uh, pretty much everyone in the group, but I think that you especially has the potential to go very far in the bracket. There are a couple of interesting players in your group, though. We saw Mafia yesterday yeah. take out your brother, Lucifron, and we saw Yeka as well, who is a local player. And no one had heard of him before at this tournament. And then he took Xenio to three very, very close late game ZVZs. So they look like they could be two people to watch. Uh, what, what do you think about the play styles of those two players specifically? Uh, about Mafia, I didn't, I haven't seen much of him, but I heard he's pretty good. Like uh, normally the top three on Australia, I think it's between him, Moonglade yeah. and Pig. Yeah. So yeah, I think Probably he's really good, but I haven't seen any game of him besides the one versus Lucy front yesterday. I only saw game two and it was like a bit cheesy game, so I don't really know. Uh, and about Jackie, uh, well, it's more or less the same. I haven't seen anything. I did see the game he won to Xenio, though. And yeah, he looked pretty good, but also it was Muta versus Muta, which is kind of like a click and let's see what happens. So I don't know. He may be, they may be tough, but uh, we'll see. Fair enough. Well, uh, just to wrap things up, moving away from the random nature, as you mentioned, of ZVZ, you have Hasuobs and MC in your group. Uh, how do you feel against them? Because that's really going to be the key as to which Zergs are going to be moving through, right? Yeah. Uh, well, I don't really know what to think versus Hasuobs. Uh, he's a very solid player. He's always doing good in tournaments, but last three times or last four times we played, I think I won. So I'm confident versus him and Versus MC, I don't really know. I played versus him on IM Cologne and he won 2-0, but I think lately he's been playing a bit worse than normally. So, I don't know, I think if I play good, I think I can win them. As I say, I feel really confident on my, CV, on my CVP, so yeah, we'll see what happens. All right, best of luck to you in the tournament. Uh, any words you want to have uh, for your fans or the people who are watching the stream today? Oh yeah, uh, just a big shout out to everyone who's supporting me, especially the people in Spain, because I know there's a lot of people there. And well, just uh, thanks to my sponsors, and that's it. All right, guys, thank you very much, Vortex. This is Jarosar from IEM Singapore. We'll see you later.